Hello everyone, this is Fly. I'm checking out Card Heart. This is part of the AGDG Demo Day 20. This is apparently a platformer game. Uh, I have seen a few posts of this in development. Looks like it has some neat artwork and such. Uh, but don't know a lot about it. I'm going to give this a shot. I've not played it before. Let's read the game page here real quick. 2D platforming, card mixing, card mixing action, still in development. Current demo, blah, blah, blah. current demo is bare bones. Explore the city and try to find all the coins. Controls, arrow keys to move, Z to jump, X to attack, different while standing, running, or jumping. All right, so that's all. I'm gonna open this up here. Uh, let's see. Make sure I get rid of my overlay. Now this is a windowed game, so it might look a little Slightly blurry, getting blown up here. I don't know if there's... All right, looks like we're in the game here. Um, rather small window, so there doesn't appear to be like a, a full screen mode or a way to even resize the window, unfortunately. So I'd prefer a, a proper full screen mode, but go ahead and try this anyways. Um, I don't hear any audio yet. Just check my volume levels. But there may be... Oh, okay, so it's got this... This other window open here with the game that's not in the capture, but it says error animation player, get current animation position. Condition something something, I can't actually see the rest of what's written here, because I can't resize the window, but... Oh, does it just... I don't know. There's an error in there anyways. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably not useful for this video. Hopefully everything is okay. Um, looks like up and down don't do anything. We just have Z and X. Wow. Very interesting. Okay, so we shoot fireballs apparently. I didn't expect to shoot fireballs. Got a little bit of a knockback when you're standing still. Um, it might be nice. I don't know if you're using the up and down keys, but uh, a lot of platformers use up key for jumping. Which, uh, I don't know if I prefer necessarily, I just kind of get used to, so <laughs> if you're not using it otherwise, it might be nice to map that jump to up in addition to the Z key here. Looks like we can't double jump or anything, but got some nice animations, I guess. We can actually, I really am used to using up now for some reason. Does it support controller? I forgot to. Check the controller here. Plug my battery in. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> Nothing. All right, that's too bad. <laughs> well, this will probably be more fun with the controller, but that's okay. We'll just do what we can. So we can shoot that, and then we can... It says it's different. Oh, you can hold it down. Seems to shoot faster when you're running. And I am noticing if, if you're standing still, it has that little knockback effect, but you also can't move for the duration of that little knockback there. So if you press it and try and run real quick, you have to wait for it to stop. Whereas if you're running, it just kind of, there's no pause. So that's interesting. All right, so, oh, what the heck? Oh, that was from this. Um, yeah, something about... Something about having jump on the Z keys messing with me a little bit here. Hello. Alright, that guy has a lot of reach. Alright, so he does have a little bit of a of a uh oh he keeps coming forward. I can't get away. I can't get away. There's a lot of forward movement, so he really chases you down and it doesn't look like you can even jump over his attacks. Um, so you might want to be careful about an enemy like that just pinning you against a wall, or if there's other enemies or something over here. Um, just kind of driving you into a bad place and then beating you up. Uh, looks like we can jump on that bench. I'm noticing it doesn't seem like we can like hold down and press jump or anything to drop through. 
So even though you can jump up through these platforms, that might be a nice thing to add. Okay, I felt like I just jumped a few pixels there for a moment. I don't know what that was. All right. It's kind of weird how I, uh, yeah, when I jump up through this platform, it, it sticks on it sometimes. I guess when I hold it down, hold the button down. Oh no, it's not happening now. You might have seen a couple times, it looked like as soon as my feet got up to the platform, it, it, my uh, vertical speed just got like canceled out and I just kind of landed exactly on the platform or something. That was weird. Doesn't look like I can... Just got kind of a big open area out here. I don't really know where to go. Gosh, well, there's not much. <laughs> oh, that guy can reach so far. It's like as soon as you run into him, he can hit you. But yeah, there's not much warning when you suddenly run into that guy. Um, also noticing the camera's not really doing much for me. Um, it would be nice to have the camera kind of show me where I'm going a little more. Instead of this kind of... It's like these little bounds here that it just kind of, I mean, that's functional and all, but um, it's nice if, if I'm running in this direction for the camera to just kind of scoot over here just a little bit more so I can see what's in front of me. Especially if there's going to be guys like that that just attack you almost instantly and have massive reach. I really don't know where I'm supposed to go. Like I can see there's these gray things up here. I don't know if you can actually see my cursor in the capture. I hope so. Um, looks like I hit my head on these. Oh, I can wall jump. Okay. It's not really obvious that... First of all, that these... These uh, rooftop type of things are things you can jump on kind of look like background, and it's not obvious that you can wall jump on them either, so... Oh, gosh. Be better at this with the controller, but... That's okay. Oh my gosh, what do we do? Oh, no, 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 no. It's hard. They, they have really huge reach, so they're really unforgiving. Wrong button. Ah! Jeez. And yeah, I don't think it's very fun to just kind of run away and then turn around and shoot at him and then repeat. This doesn't seem like a very fun way to fight a guy. Alright, 3 out of 30, oh, 13 out of 37, so I guess we can go up here. Did look like I was dropping some frames there. Kind of unfortunate, it gets a little jerky here and there. Oh gosh, hit you so fast. There's very, very little time between when he winds up and when he smacks you. All right, so let's go. Whoops. Oh sh Oh my gosh. No. You apparently can't walk through them, so that's kind of annoying. I don't know if touching them hurts you or not. I have to jump on this little bench to get up here. Oops. Oh, that was bad. Alright, so I think I can... Oh, come on. It's annoying. Oh gosh, it's annoying. What the heck? How am I supposed to fight these guys? Can I shoot from this? No, I can't even shoot on this surface here. Oh, what the heck? How are we supposed to get those coins? No, turn around. Turn around.
And yeah, here I can't I can't actually see. I know there's stuff down over here, but I can't actually see anything down there, so that's unfortunate. Um, so it would be nice again when I mentioned about the camera to be able to kind of see where you're going a little more, but also um, if you could like hold down or something to kind of pan the camera down a little bit, that might help a little bit. Uh, I don't understand how to get these coins right now. And again, I can't really see what's below me at all, so I'm just going blind, jumping blindly here. I actually, I actually pushed the jump button there, but apparently I'd gone off the edge too soon. Um, so some, <laughs> something you can consider is just adding a little bit of a buffer there. So if you, for like, you know, two frames or something, so if you press the jump button like a frame or two after you walked off the edge, it'll still do the jump instead of punishing you for such a tiny uh, miscalculation. Oh, it's slidey. It's slidey. Oh no. Oh no, it's slidey. Okay. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate. Um, yeah. So, it's pretty hard with these little platforms for sure. The inertia and everything. This is what low inertia is really good at, is, is tiny platforms like this. Like games like Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man X has literally zero inertia. Which is why it controls so well. Uh, but when it's this sort of thing, you actually have to really fight against the inertia, so it's pretty tricky. Oh gosh. Especially with keyboard controls, which I'm not particularly good at. So I just have to go back this way. Again, I can't really see anything that's below me. I know there's coins around here, but I don't really know what is below me and where I need to go, so I'm just kind of going this way, I guess. Oh, I can't get up here. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, 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 no. I could definitely do this a bit better with a the controller. There we go, all right. Oh, no, oh, gosh, it's so punishing, though. If you fall down, you have to go through the whole thing again. That's really unfortunate. <laughs> I just did that thing again. It's weird. Uh... <laughs> I'm just jumping blindly because again I can't I can't really see what's out there, so I guess I can go through this and maybe kind of see there's a platform over here. Can't really oh gosh. Alright, so there are these coins though that I'm supposed to be getting. I think if you like jump from up here and then you start sliding, you slide faster. It'd be nice if you're Oops, be nice if your vertical uh, momentum was reset when you start sliding so you don't hit the wall and just start sliding at like maximum speed instantly. That's kind of annoying. Oh my gosh, uh, that little, little area, that top corner in this funky little, I don't even know what you call that place. This place here. This thing. It's so hard to get through that. And then when you do, you just <laughs> you just keep going. <laughs> you just fly off. So I, I have no idea. How do you get those? How are you supposed to get these? I can't. No, I don't. I don't know. Are there other moves? It only said jump and X to fire, right? Yep, those are the only controls mentioned. Alright, so we'll try and go up here again. Uh, hopefully I can make it. There we go. 
don't know if there's more below me here, but I'm gonna try and go up again like this. Oh, I feel like I'm dropping a few frames here. Oh shoot. Oh, I got more coins though. There we go. And there's one right there. Um, maybe. Oh, there we go. Oof. Got kind of lucky with that one. I think. Yeah, there's trees down there, so I want to go up. Ugh. Um, over here. Oh shoot. Oh gosh, no. Tiny margins for error here. Gosh. <clears throat> oh shoot. Blech. See, I know this is possible. It's it's definitely doable. It's just rather difficult. The slidey momentum and everything is kind of unfortunate, but apart from that. Oh jeez. It is hard because of the keyboard controls for me. Um, I'm also noticing that these really, really blend in with the background. Uh, it's not so bad that I can't play it or anything, but um, it's definitely really noticeable. Like these parts that are uh, that are supposed to be grayed out are the ones that stand out against this. So it's a little backwards seemingly. Right. No! Oh, I needed to get that on the side of that. Oh, I tried to jump. It was too late. Alright. Well. Getting a little better at it, but ooh, it's still... Ugh. This is tiny, tiny little margins for error. I just send you down. Oh shoot, I let go of the direction too soon. Ah, oh, it's super, super sucks when you fall down here, then you have to literally start over from the beginning, because that is the actual beginning that you fall down to. Oh, there's a coin over here. Well Alright then. I am a big fan of the Mega Man X games, so I'm used to these sort of wall jump things. I'm not used to doing it with keyboard, but you know, I do get it. Oh, I pressed jump again. I guess it was just a moment too late. All right. Oh, jeez. That something about the, the alignment of this right here, it's like you you jump and then you hit your head on like that little tiny bit of the ledge there, but it's like it's not enough for you to to uh react in order to wall jump off of it. And then it messes up you landing on the platform here at the same time, so it's kind of It's almost like it's made to mess you up there. Oh shoot, again, I jumped too late. Gosh. All right. Oh, I gotta go on that side. Oh, again, I tried to uh, tried to wall slide on that little this little bit right here, but I, I kind of went uh, just around it. I'm hoping you can see that cursor. <laughs> So I'm not just talking and not, uh, you're not seeing what I'm pointing at. Oh shoot. Yeah, the inertia is getting me here. A little bit here and there. And that's really what's different about the Mega Man games versus this. It feels very similar, but they have zero inertia. Oh, shoot, again. It's that inertia. It keeps messing me up, I swear. So I just can't quite get to the... 
to the left or to the right in time to get my feet on the ed the side of the platform or whatever and do the jump, the wall jump. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, jeez, oh, I'm heck. Oh. Alright, try again one more time. Still have no idea how to get those. Whoops. I hit it in time this time. But again, I'm supposed to. Oh, jeez, I did not mean to go down there. Well, I can't jump up there. Ah, oh, gosh. The way you made that one spot, it's very, very particular. Oh my gosh, I missed it. Damn it. Heck. Missed the jump again. No. <laughs> oh, it's messing with my eyes. Oh gosh. It's starting to <laughs> starting to drop a few frames here and there and and between that kind of jerky movement and the the lack of a contrast on against the background here, really messing with my eyes. Oh shoot! Ah. Jump. Oh my gosh, well, I can't even go over there, oh my word. Apparently you're not supposed to go that way. <laughs> There's no way to go that way. Oh jeez. Go on the outside. Oh, seriously. Whoa, what the heck? No. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Why would you put him right there? You can't even avoid that attack. Oh my gosh. Well, there's another coin right there, but I have to literally just jump down off of this whole thing to get it, so I don't know what the idea is. Also, I have to do it blindly, so if I missed it, I don't even know. Oh my freaking word. Holy cow. How did I even do that? What the heck? Oh, it's so hard. You have to get to the top of this. Jump off the very top of it. Maybe you don't have to do that. I'm just making it more complicated than necessary. You just go like this. Yeah, that works. Oh, that's annoying. Why would you put that there? Why would you put that there? Why would you put that there? Oh. 
You hit your head on that. You hit your head. You hit your head. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Oh, shoot. All right, that works. All right. 33 out of 37. This kind of feels like it's supposed to be the end or something. It's just a giant tower that you climb. Uh, I think there's one like right. Okay, well, that's right up there. Um. <laughs> oh, that guy is. Oh my gosh. Go away. Oh, he gives you a coin. Okay, so I know exactly where the last three coins are. One is way up there, which. It happened exactly as I expected, which is that I jumped and completely missed it because I couldn't see it, and then I have to climb up the whole thing again to get it in order to jump off again. Uh, and the other one is the two that are up under this platform right up here that I have no idea how to get. So, um, yeah. I haven't, I really have no idea how to get under that platform to get those, so. Hmm. I don't know, but yeah, so far it seems like it's just this one enemy and just a bunch of jumping puzzles. So, uh, pretty early, I think this was, this game has probably started, I think the guy just started work on it pretty recently. Might be wrong, but it, it seemed that way from what I've seen. Um, so with that in mind, I mean, it, if it's feeling pretty good overall. I did kind of complain a lot about the inertia, it's just a very tiny thing. Honestly, I would be able to... Um, I probably would have gotten through all these jumping puzzles and stuff a lot faster if I was using a gamepad rather than the keyboard. I did get a little little more used to it with a little bit of practice here, but uh, still pretty tough. Some of these designs like that part right there, um, things that you end up hitting your head on are pretty frustrating stuff. Just holding left and never making it through. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. I think I might be able to get one of those. Oh, jeez. this sort of thing. No, I don't know. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the enemy is kind of... Uh, well, it's kind of three things, I guess. It's basically the whole design of it, but um, for one, its attack is a very extremely long reach, especially for its size. It's basically, it's almost like half the screen here that it can reach you. Uh, the other thing is that the attack comes almost instantly. Not quite, there's a little bit of a, excuse me, a little bit of a telegraph there. It's not very obvious, but it, it is there. But it comes very fast, um, and he attacks almost instantly when, when you see him, like if you run into him, he's off the screen and you're just running, and then he's there, he pretty much hits you almost instantly. Uh, the other thing is that he, he kind of charges forward constantly, so... Uh, all three of those things, I think, can be pretty problematic. Uh, could definitely be worth tweaking. There's not... Uh, I don't know if the developer was intending to add, like, a dodge or anything like that. At some point, this demo appears to not have anything like that, so that's a different consideration for, you know, enemy design and stuff, obviously. I know that seen a lot of stuff that uh, he seems to be working on that's probably not in this demo right now, so... Don't know about any of that, but as for what's here, uh, that's what I would say about the enemy guy. And for the movement and stuff, I think it's it's feeling really good overall, the, the movement speed and the jump height. And the jump's not very high, but you can, of course, do all of your uh, wall jumps and stuff, and they just feel pretty much about right, I think. Uh, the inertia is a, make, makes certain things trickier for sure, but um, it's not too bad. Like I said, I think if I had a gamepad, it would be better. So, so yeah, overall, it, it feels kind of good. <laughs> Just moving around, so that's not too bad. Uh, it's a little annoying, maybe, how this kind of 
roots your feet when you do it without moving and kind of have those little pauses there. Um, the jumping attack that kind of pushes you backwards. Uh, I don't know if it could ever be useful possibly to like kind of use that that inertia. I don't know. But, um, you know, there might be, I mean, I could conceive that being annoying if you're doing like jumping puzzles, like if you're, do if you did some big jumping puzzle and you finally got to the top and let's say this was like the top and you, and you finally like jumped up here and then there's like a bad guy right here and you just had to attack him and it like knocked you back and you just fell down. And that would be annoying, so <laughs> I have to be careful about that sort of thing. Uh, just mixing enemies in this kind of attack into the jumping puzzles and stuff could potentially be problematic. But yeah, I'm still getting this weird little sort of ground collision bug. I think you've probably seen it a few times if you're watching closely where I jump up on this and it just kind of... My feet end up landing on the, the surface rather than jumping up above it. Seems like your jump is always the same height, which I haven't had a problem with so far. I mean, most games, most platformers, you have that kind of element where you can hold the button to jump a little higher, and that's usually quite useful. But I haven't really no even noticed it uh, in this demo so far, so I don't know. Maybe it's worth adding, but so far it seems to work okay. So yeah, there's not, I mean, I kind of babbled for a while just about the little, little teeny details, but there's not too much to talk about so far. I think that the developer's probably working on all sorts of stuff to add in, so I'm, I'm interested to see what else you uh, come up with and how that plays in the future. So hopefully this video was useful, and if you have questions for me, just let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video.